Fuck. What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another movie reaction. And today we'll be finishing the Planet of the Apes trilogy with War for the Planet of the Apes. What I do know about this movie picks up where the last one left off, which was Caesar regrouping the apes and planning to defend themselves in San Francisco. So let's get into this. Before we begin, I do want to remind you that you can get early access to these YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. It really helps my channel reach a wider audience and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But now, it's time for the show. Let's go. What the fuck? They got a tribal 20th Century Fox intro? Monkey killer. <laughs> Holy shit, they're making it seem like they're like this is Vietnam or some shit, and they're the Viet Cong. <gasps> what the fuck? We got apes on our side! No way! We have apes on our side! My heart dropped when I saw that motherfucker grab his shoulder. This movie has a war feel to it already. That's some war shit. The screams, blowing up the trench. What the fuck? I know these apes. They follow Koba. They fear what I will do to them. Followers of Koba working with us? What the fuck? Well, who could have saw that shit coming? Leave us the woods and the killing can't stop. Yet again, Caesar showing that he's a merciful leader, doesn't want to kill for no reason. He's literally on the defensive the entire time. Damn, look at this buff ass ape with him. Is that Rocket? Yeah, let's go. This man lasted three movies. No fucking way. This shit is about to get a million times worse. Solid snake, more like solid eight, bro. Damn. King Kong is dead. Do not tell me they killed Caesar's son thinking it was him. Is that Woody Harrelson? Are you fucking serious? Oh, shit. Who did he kill? Was it his son and his wife? Oh, his son survived. The soldiers will all come after me. That may give you the best chance to get out of the woods. Damn, so Caesar's gonna draw all their attention so all the apes can make a mad dash out of the woods. No. Damn, they wanna ride with him? They wanna die with him. It'd be an honor, damn, man. The vibe these four are giving off is like a posse, you know. Now we're getting sort of a Western vibe thrown in with the war vibe. Oh shit, Caesar killing? Oh man, is that the first human he's actually killed himself? Look at the look on Maurice's face. What is going on here? Why is Maurice having such a long interaction with this girl? Come. He wants to take her with them? Are you kidding? Maurice, all right now, I feel bad too, but damn, man. You're going on a suicide mission. Where's the colonel? Yo, this is some wild shit. You see the look on Rocket's face? Caesar could have been wiping us out like this the whole time if they wanted to. Or did he choke him out? Holy shit, he killed him? Ape, not kill. Ape. <laughs> He's having nightmares about Koba. 
He was such a big character, man. Koba ruled the second movie. The movie two was the Koba movie, and he was so fucking badass in it. <laughs> it's the first time we've seen snow. Wait, isn't it San Francisco? How the fuck is there snow? What the fuck? Isn't that Woody Harrelson? Wait, so who and why the fuck did they shoot him? And then they buried them lined up like that. What the fuck? I thought he was gonna jump down on top of that motherfucker. Oh, this is not good, man. Going into a house where someone's hiding with a shotgun. There you go, Maurice. Thank you. Oh, oh, what the? I see, girl. I think you human, but you ape like me. This is fucking crazy. How the hell did all these apes learn how to speak, though? Ape, get smart, learn to speak. Listen, human, bad ape. This ape learned how to talk just from listening, carefully listening. So then they all can learn how to speak then. I'm sure Rocket and Maurice are seeing this. After zoo, I look for food. I find human zoo. Zoo for sick, big walls. Oh, they must have got infected. See, the infection is still running rampant, man. Because they're working with apes, so, you know, I guess getting sick is still a possibility. To shoot them and put them outside in the cold, though, that's some shit. You have just killed by human. Told you, I did at human zoo. I take you. Apparently this ape is pretty nice and kind, but as soon as Caesar said that, he completely changed his stance. These apes are so kind and sweet and understanding. If more people could see moments like this, <laughs> what is he wearing? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. They have so much personality. Oh, fuck. I mean, there is a simian flu going around. I wouldn't have drunk after Caesar. I respect you, but I need my own cup. Yeah, fucking right. Went out with a smile on his face because of that little girl. All they did was find a border facility and their silverback is gone. Get the fuck out of here, man. What, what kind of work, my little son, is he here? Oh, wait, those are all the apes that were waiting to escape? Oh, no way, man. I thought these were just new apes, and he was just upset because there's more out there. Oh, man. Everyone's turning their backs on him? Shit. Everyone maybe is thinking they should have left with Caesar. I mean, how can they blame him? So they're using them for labor, of course. I was wondering why they didn't just kill all of them the moment that they found them. That's a lot of damn apes, man. I know y'all got guns, but shit. Y'all playing with fire. You don't leave Caesar in the middle of these motherfuckers, man. You don't. <laughs> This donkey has to change his mind at some point in this fucking film. I mean, damn, man. Four. Two. Damn, Caesar was willing to die, but they don't want him to die. Fuck, man. He's such an amazing leader. Bad. So if Rocket and Maurice are still out there and this guy, oh man, okay, a little bit of hope just shot back into me. The virus mutated. If it spread, it would destroy humanity for good this time. We're talking like apes where we're just like 
Wh what? He looked at me. Even in his primitive gaze, I felt his love. Oh, I was going to say, why kill him then? But you don't love him? He didn't want the virus to spread. That's some wild fucking shit. This dude has a reason. I'm kind of more understanding now. He doesn't want the entire human race to turn into primates. I didn't mean to kill your son. I'm glad I did. So emotional! You're so emotionless, fucker. God damn. Caesar's already intelligent, but this dude is putting him onto the reality and harshness of war. If you want to win, you have to take emotion out of it. This movie has no reason being this complex and this fucking good. <laughs> Apocalypse now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually watching this movie tomorrow, Apocalypse Now, so to see that is fucking hilarious. Koba <laughs> lives in this dude's mind rent free. That is still his biggest failure in his eyes. Join me. Holy fuck, man, what a shot. That transition from Koba to the ape that's playing the donkey now is clean. <laughs> Koba's starting to make sense now. This little girl is so sweet, man. I hope nothing happens to her. She's so innocent. She did literally nothing wrong, but this trilogy has showed us no one is safe. We opened up with his son and wife being killed. Like, ah! They captured that revolutionary feeling so well in this trilogy. Something's gotta give, man. They can't build up all this. Caesar's the only one that's trying to be merciful, and he's not even human. I'm sure if we asked him to just stay away while we try to figure this shit out, he would. Are there others out there? Damn, this dude picked up on it real fast. He's like, this is a distraction. Oh, man, yo, this dude is smart as fuck. <laughs> Man, Rocket's evolution from how he was to now was crazy in itself. He was really the dude that was just bullying him in the pen and shit. And now he's become basically his best friend. So they're coming up with some type of plan. Hopefully it happens fast because I don't know the intentions of the people that are coming from the north to attack them. But I'll take my chances over the fuckheads we got here already. I say to myself, is there anything? Left of you to say. Yo, what a fucking line. Caesar knows exactly what to say to pierce you right to your fucking soul. To make you feel like a piece of shit. And it's all truth. It's all brutal honesty. No, Bob. No, Bob. Now, is that name like a callback to one of the earlier movies? Was Nova a human that played a big part in Planet of the Apes? I'm assuming so. Oh. Oh, he's hilarious. His timing is perfect. I've seen everything that's happened so far, but I'm still unsure of what their plan is to get out of there and escape. No, they did not just throw shit at the back of his fucking head. Yeah, right. I don't think I'm supposed to be feeling this good about our downfall. I want the apes to win. I know it's at our expense, but damn, man. How can you not root for these guys? Man, you think a wall is gonna stop military helicopters? Cause it ain't. So the attack's happening and this dude is just laying in bed drunk. Oh, he's already affected. No fucking way. Because the girl's dog got him infected. Oh, Caesar infected everyone by bringing that doll in. Don't do it, Caesar. Just don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't give him what he wants. You were raised better than that.
That was an incredibly strong-willed guy. He was willing to sacrifice even his own life to try to stop the spread and to save humanity. Like he said to Caesar earlier, none of this was for selfish reasons. <laughs> That's so bad. Let's go, Caesar. <gasps> no! And it's this fucking guy he saved? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Turn that bitch into mincemeat. Oh man, this is so fucking good. It took long enough, but he finally did it. Nice! I forgot all about that little hole. Let's go! Come on, Caesar. I would say here comes the good guys, but I don't really know too much about this faction either. But they do think that they can heal people. I mean, to come up with a vaccine, to need the proper medical facility and stuff like that. With the world in this type of state, I don't think it's going to happen. That dude was right. They are pretty naive in that sense. They're ready to shoot Caesar. So yeah, I don't trust them either. Oh, fuck. Is this avalanche gonna wipe out everyone else? Oh man, what? They really are the last ones left alive. This is probably the biggest group of any living form left on the planet. These apes, of course they're gonna take over. All threats eliminated. It sucks he doesn't have his family, but I'm so glad we got a happy ending to this shit. Like, for the first time since this movie started, there's a sense of peace and calmness. Oh, his wound is infected. Oh, he's dying? Seven will know who was father. I did not, I did not expect that ending to hit like that. Damn. Fuck. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, was War of the Planet of the Apes. One of the best blends of action and thought-provoking trilogies of all time. By far, hands down. It was a revolutionary film more than anything else. Oppression, survival, and freedom were rampant throughout all three films. We had a leader, we had a general, we had a cause, we had oppressors. They just wanted peace, they just wanted equality, they just wanted to be left alone. Shout out to Maurice and Rocket. I forgot the big gorilla, I forgot his name, the one that passed when the girl put the flower in his ear, but they offered so much personality to these side characters. It would have been easy to just give Caesar and maybe his family, you know, some type of emotion and really play only on their facial cues because it's in their bloodline, it'd be easy. But nope, the ones that were there day one in this pen, the ones that made it to the very end, I was so happy for them. It felt like they were characters just as much as anyone else in the movie. They felt like more than just apes. The way the rain hit their fur throughout the film, it just made it so much more dramatic. War of the Planet of the Apes was the most fitting title for this. This was a war movie in and out. You could see from the encampments, the way they were struggling at the beginning of the film, having these little battles and having to hide out in bunkers. Even the two human factions that were left were at war with each other. We were able to get the feel and all that without the typical war weapons, war vehicles. We got the helicopters at the end, but even without all that, without all the usual gear, felt like a war because war is not about any of that stuff. It's about fighting. That's it. Two sides, there can only be one winner, and that's what this entire trilogy ultimately boiled down to.
the shifting ensemble cast helped the focus stay on Caesar and the apes in general. Of course, having James Franco and John Lithgow and Frida Pinto in the first movie, of course, that's going to stand out. And then the second one, I forgot the actor's name, but he's pretty prominent in films. And then Gary Oldman and Carrie Russell, you know, these are pretty high profile names. And then this one, Woody Harrelson, no really theme there. Caesar, Rocket, Maurice, Caesar, Rocket, his son, his wife. They're really the only pieces that we kept seeing that were recurring because this is their story. So I don't know if that decision was intentional, but I like the fact that that's how it played out. And switching up the directors didn't affect this movie in a negative way in the slightest. I actually prefer Matt Reeves 2 and 3 over the first one. The first one was awesome though. I'm not going to take anything away from it. But if Matt Reeves would have did the entire trilogy, it would have been just as good. This movie had the saddest moments, for sure. At that end, it, it fucking got me. I could not hold it. This was three movies worth of build up. And I watched them, you know, pretty close together. They were released within six years of each other. I watched them all within three weeks. So even the first movie was still fresh to me. This was, it was a lot. But thankfully, this movie also has some of the funniest moments. That Ski Lodge ape, the one that escaped, that told them about the border, he was hilarious. And in Koba in the second one, when he was pretending to trick the guys, hilarious. The ape in this one, the Ski Lodge one, definitely gave off like a Michael Bay written style of humor. Just campy and silly, but still action-y. The snowy landscape we got in this movie, it helped the series from feeling complacent or getting stale. It was refreshing. We, I did not expect snow at all. I mean, we're in San Francisco, but with the lack of humans, who knows what they've been doing testing wise or, but because of the minimal effect we're having on the earth, you know, global warming, it basically reversed since there's no one doing anything. I thought that was interesting and, and it made for a great backdrop for a third movie. And I know I, I can't go on without talking about <laughs> the ending. Man, it, it brought tears to my eyes because Caesar's so inspirational, so inspirational, and he freed them. You can't have any type of empathy in you and not feel something when those apes were freed. Like, when, when anyone is freed, when anyone's being oppressed and they just finally get away, reach their promised land, where they can just live worry-free and just be away from their oppressors. I did not expect it to be a tearjerker like that, but... He didn't like stand on top of this giant tower and scream and have this crazy long speech and it was so dramatic and he did a sacrifice in front of everyone and it was inspiring. Nope, it was after everything was already over. It kind of felt like Logan when Logan just died after everything was over, you know, the movie was over and it's like, no. <laughs> Man, I wish you guys would see my reaction for Logan. Oh my God, I bawled like a fucking kid. That's from X-Men 1, 2000 up until now. This is three movies. That was like the end of nine or 10 movies. And everyone in the film was valid. Their reasoning from Koba to Caesar to Gary Oldman's character to, to the leader of Alpha Omega. Everyone had a legit good reason for what they did. This was literally... <laughs> It boiled down to survival. It was survival. That's why as much as this is a revolutionary movie, it's a war movie. People have interests. People just want to defend themselves. They're scared of you. You're scared of us. It's eventually going to boil over. It just takes one person to light that match and all hell breaks loose. If I had to choose a favorite, I know this may not be popular, but Koba. And Koba's words lived in Caesar's mind until his last breath. He literally had to stay in that state of mind until his apes were freed. He had to. He had to question whether or not he would actually do it he was pushed to that limit he was so badass in the second one oh Koba riding down the street on the horse with the two light machine guns and the way he played those guys acting all silly and lit them up and he was just being proactive he knew that those guys were he knew eventually something was going to happen where they attacked us especially with the flu breaking out like we know it does in the third one where it makes people revert and they would have had to show that they weren't to be fucked with so Koba, fucking incredible and Koba inadvertently started all this he didn't mean to when he knocked that thing loose and infected the guy i don't think he did that on purpose but knowing how smart he is now he could have he could have known this was happening man he's definitely one of the most interesting movie characters i've ever seen i wish i could have seen this in theaters this must have been a hell of a feature to experience with a whole crowd of other people especially others that have seen the first two and you know this is the end it must have just felt so crazy in that movie theater it just must have been on edge the whole time excellent trilogy excellent directing excellent acting I'm so glad I watched this trilogy and you guys got to experience my reactions. If anything in particular stood out to you in this movie or there's something I might have missed, please tell me about it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching my reaction. All I ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also get early access to my YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. You guys are the best. This is the first video I'm making after my 100 subs by the way. I'm just full of emotion like this is so amazing this channel is getting to a place i didn't think it would be you guys mean a lot to me we're basically family now i know you know that 
That's it for me. Until next time, spread peace and love. R.I.P. Caesar. I'm out. I did not expect that ending to hit like that. Damn.